freaking blah. What's up, guys? It's Eric Dillon. Welcome to Blah Freaking Blah. We're talking movies about past time. Uh, today, I've got a bone to pick with Ridley Scott. Uh, because it's just been revealed, <clears throat> uh, according to Ridley Scott, that Alien 5, uh, Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5, is probably not going to happen. And this disappoints the hell out of me. So, in case you didn't know, uh, the director of District 9 and Chappie and Elysium, uh, while working with Sigourney Weaver on Chappie, he had discussed with her ideas for Alien 5 that she was really excited about. Alien 5, his Alien 5, would serve, actually serve as Alien 3. Uh, kind of a conceptualization that would follow Jim Cameron's storyline instead of going the route that Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection went. So it kind of erases them from existence. Now, you know, that's... On its head, that seems like a stupid idea. I'll, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be frank with you. Needless to say, he acted really cool to the idea because this is not his vision. It's Blomkamp's vision. And it's, you know... he. I think he was kind of at odds from the get-go. Uh, even to the point that the Prometheus comic books, I've mentioned this before in previous videos that Dark Horse did, they were forced to change their storylines because he didn't he didn't want contradiction uh, with his films. Now that's being slightly overprotective if you ask me because the comic books have never been canon, uh, even though they're really excellent. And I think that, you know, the original Dark Horse Alien series, which I've also mentioned uh, in previous videos, is might well have been some of uh, Blumkampf's uh, inspiration for wanting to tell this story with Ripley and Newt and et al. So, <clears throat> on to the article here. Ridley Scott, it says he bluntly stated, there was never a script. It was an idea that evolved from, I believe, a 10-page pitch, and I was meant to be part of the producers on that. Now, I want you to remember that. I was meant to be part of the producers on that. He was one of the producers. It didn't evolve. Fox decided that they didn't want to do it, and that was it. I'd already done Prometheus, and I was planning Covenant, so I don't know. When pressed to say if he thinks the sequel would ever happen, Scott said, I, I don't think so, no. Now, you heard him say that 20th Century Fox didn't want to do it, right? You heard him say that there wasn't a script. This was, um, like I said, this is all published on comingsoon.net, and this was published on May 1st, 2017 which, as of this recording, is today. Let's go back. Let's go back. Way, way back. This is way, this is so far in the past. July 13th, 2016, so not even a year. This article is Sigourney Weaver talking about the Alien film. And uh, let's see what she has to say here. Uh, this is what she was speaking with Entertainment Weekly. It's a great story, and it's satisfying me to give this woman an, an, an ending. Boy, if I could read, that'd be helpful. So, you see, this, this story was to be Ripley's finale and maybe kind of pass the torch. The script itself, this is Sigourney Weaver talking, the script itself has so much in it that's so original, but also really satisfies the, I would say, the primal needs of the alien. It's a tribute to all of the great work that the other directors have done in a way but goes in a completely new direction, I hope will do it. Now, her describing the nature of this sequel is, it's just as if, you know, the path forks and one direction goes off to three and four and another direction goes off to Neil's movie. It's just more, I would say, following Jim Cameron's story about these characters rather than just ending up in this sort of monastery in space, which was Alien 3 screenwriter Vincent Ward's idea and Fox elected to go in that direction. God only knows why. That's me, not her. Back to her. I think Fitcher was fine with that. Each director kind of wanted to create a whole new set of circumstances. In this case, it picks up, it follows directly the circumstances of Jim Cameron's Alien. So, according to Sigourney Weaver herself, there was a script. Now, if we go to, we're going to go one step further here. Again, Ridley Scott saying, there was never a script. It was a 10-page outline. From MoviePilot.com, during the Aliens 30th Anniversary Panel at San Diego Comic-Con 2016, 
Sigourney Weaver was asked about the possibility of doing an Alien 5. The actress had nothing but great things to say about it. According to her, Blumkamp had a clear idea of where he wanted to take the franchise, and she was very excited with the script that was already in place. The script that was already... There is an incredible script, she says, written and to be directed by Neil Blomkamp, forgive me if I'm butchering his name, who was a fan growing up in South Africa who loved the movie so much. And when we were working together on Chappie, we started chatting about how the series left Ripley. And I have been wanting to do a fifth one. That whole first day, we started just talking about, and four months later, I got a script that was so amazing, and it gives the fans everything they are looking for, plus innovates in a lot of ways that just immediately for me became a part of the world. See, now doesn't that sound intriguing? Don't you want to see this movie? Don't. I, I want to see this movie. Now, here we go. In the same 30-year commemoration event, James Cameron said that Neil Blomkamp had shared his script with him. And according to Cameron, it was so solid that the production of the film could begin whenever Blomkamp wanted to do it. He says he shared it with me, and I think it's a very strong script, and he can go make it tomorrow. And again, Ridley Scott saying there was never a script. So, but just to show you this isn't pure speculation, I mean, if it's not proven by now, um, I'm going to go back a little further. And this is April 26th, uh, when more and more concept art was coming out. So Alien 5 was in the good, it, there were, I mean, these are strong pieces of art. So it was in pre-production stages. The script was written, the concept art was being drawn, you know, it was being fleshed out. So this article, according to this on April, in April last year, was the project had been put in stasis until after Ridley Scott's upcoming Alien Covenant. In addition, Michael Bien revealed that the film would see the character Newt from Aliens Return of the 27-Year-Old, a role he said actresses would be fighting over. Hmm. If only we were so lucky. Uh, so at this time, Bloomcott was sharing artwork on Twitter. Uh, and Sigourney Weaver, yet again, she made a public appearance. Um, and she says, Ridley asked Neil not to make our alien till after Prometheus 2. This is before it would been, had been properly titled. He, Ridley, wanted his movie to shoot and be released first. But it's an amazing script. And Neil and I are excited about doing it. We're doing other things until we can get on, get going on that. I'd really be surprised if we didn't do it because it's such a great script. And we love working together. So it's just going to take a little bit of out for you. But it'll be worth the wait. So you can see that them postponing the production was at the behest of Scott, who at the time wasn't talking about making five more Alien films. And last but not least, as soon as this thing loads up, I will get it to you. This is from October 29th, 2015. Now, this had happened previous to all of this. According to Blumkamp, uh, the movie was on hold pending Prometheus 2. So I should be working on other things. All in all, guys, there was a script. It was in production. It was ready to go. Sigourney Weaver wanted to do it, which in and of itself seems like kind of a miracle to me because she was so sick of that character in the 90s. I guess enough time had passed where her interest came back up. Obviously, it's been a long time. So I and, – and look, I love Ridley Scott, and I, I'm saying this with all due respect, but the guy needs to get off his high horse on this. Because clearly he's not a fan of this. He's taking full ownership of the Alien films. They asked him to be a producer on it. He clearly doesn't have the interest to be a producer on it. And I I honestly, I mean, I can see where Fox would have a lot of trouble with this because he is holding the reins to the Alien universe right now. I mean, it's, 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 his, it's his pony to ride. And he's not digging the difference of direction that uh, Bloomkamp would clearly go. Even though Ridley Scott is in prequel territory, and Bloomkamp's in a basically an alternate reality sequel. I don't, I, I, I don't see where the difference is. He just, you know, he wants his vision to be what's put out there, and that's it. And that pisses me off because we want this movie. I mean, I, I want this movie. I'm a huge fan of the original films, and I've seen, you know, most of them in the theater at some point. And to me. Ridley Scott is doing a great disservice to the fan base by killing this movie. I mean, this was happening. It was happening. And it could still happen, but it is going to take 
all of us raising hell and demanding this movie get made because Fox wants to make a profitable film. Fox wants to get along with Ridley Scott just fine, too. I mean, like I said, I can see their trouble with it because if, if Ridley Scott really is wanting to produce five alien films, where do you squeeze Alien 5? That's ironic. You know, where do you squeeze the budget out for that? Where do you, how do you gauge interest for that much alien? You know, do you just go ahead and let Ridley take the reins? Probably. But I think it's pretty clear that, um, that Ridley Scott has killed this movie. He and he and he alone has killed the Alien 3 we've always wanted. And, uh, I don't think that's cool, but I could be wrong. I think the evidence is pretty well stacked in, uh, stacked against Ridley Scott. And I think it's pretty disingenuous of him. I'm kind of surprised for him to sit there and say there was never a script and it's not going to happen. It, it clearly was happening. There clearly was a script. You know, otherwise you're calling Sigourney Weaver and Blumkamp and James Cameron a liar. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? You think uh, you think he needs to get over himself? I think he needs to get over himself. I don't know. Sound off in the comments below. I want to make this one a quick one. Uh, just had to get this off my shoulders, man. I <clears throat> had to get it off my chest, I should say, because it really, really irks me. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Ridley Scott. I've been a huge fan of his for years, like many of you. He is a visionary filmmaker. He's wonderful. I, I thought Prometheus was um, held a lot of promise, and I'm kind of disappointed with the direction that they've kind of taken to uh, kind of relegate Prometheus to the sidelines. I know a lot of you do not feel the same as I do on that, but that's okay. Um, I look, Like I said, I look forward to seeing what Ridley Scott is going to do. I just, and I would, I would be perfectly fine with Ridley Scott making five Alien films and Alien 5 coming out at the same time. I would go see all of them, as I'm sure many of you would too. I just think it's unfortunate. I think it's unfortunate. It, it just, it's really, really irritating. I don't know. Anyway, I could just ramble about this on and on and on and on, and I'm not going to do it. But uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I really would like to see this Alien film be produced, be put out there, because I, I just, I really want to see it. I mean, you know, maybe it turns out to be awful, but I would like to at least get the film out there and give these guys a chance to tell their story and let us gauge it for ourselves. But anyway, guys, once again, this is Eric. I appreciate you listening. Uh, make sure you join me on Facebook at facebook.com slash GM blah, freaking blah. That's slash GM blah, freaking blah. And also um, the links to these articles will be uh, in the description box below. So make sure you check that out if you want to. And just like I said, see for yourself, but I will talk to you guys next time.